This recording will introduce you to integral calculus and their applications in economics. This is not for telling you what is integral calculus and all. This just tell you how you can apply the concepts of integral calculus in various uh, uh, in, in in various uses in economics. So indefinite integral, okay, say fx. This is the derivative of, sorry, integral of fx dx hmm, is the family of is the family of nt derivatives nt derivatives of a function that is you can also get now in case if you differentiate this integral dfx with respect to dx what you get is fx okay so in a way you can say this that integral is uh, is indefinite integral is is basically reverse of differentiation reverse of differentiation and fx it can only define fx to open to up to an arbitrary constant okay and hence family of uh, and then that's why you're you're writing this is this is a family of nt derivatives um well in case if you look at definite integral okay i guess that you must have some prior knowledge of uh, integrals before getting into this recording okay um the reason uh, and and the the reason being because i'm not getting into the details of how do you calculate integral how would you calculate indefinite integral indefinite integral this will straight away in next 2 minutes it will just start with telling you how will you apply indefinite indefinite integrals into into economics okay so the prerequisite is that you must have done some differential calculus and integral calculus course for this mathematical economics course so definite integral is the area is the area under the curve is under the curve fx over the range x is equal to a to x is equal to b and how do you write this as these are the limits of integral from a to b fx dx okay now the first application which we are going to do is basically how would you calculate uh, the tr function from the mr function and also how would you how would you find out the demand function for this so supposedly if mr function that is your marginal revenue function is given to you as 50 upon x plus 1 square minus 4 so your first i the first question is that you have to find tr function you have to find tr function and you also have to find demand function for this okay so in order to find out the total revenue function you will integrate the mr function okay you will integrate the mr function so because mr is what mr is the the derivative of the tr function so in order to if when you are given the mr function you will integrate the mr function not to get the tr function so basically what we'll do is that you'll find out integral of 50 upon x plus 1 square minus 4 dx which is basically minus 50 upon x plus 1 minus 4x plus c so your idea is first of all and this is your tr function as such okay your idea would be to find out the concrete tr function well you know this that 
when x is equal to 0, then tr is also equal to 0. You need to find out this c now. Okay, so how do you get that? So when x is equal to 0, tr is equal to 0. If you will put x equals to 0 here, what you will be getting is basically minus 50 upon 0 plus 1 minus 4 into 0 plus c okay is equal to 0 because tr is equal to 0 when when x is equal to 0 so this becomes that minus 50 plus c equals to 0 or c is equal to 50 clear so c is equal to 50 so now you will put this c equals to 50 into this function and what you will get is tr function as minus 50 upon x plus 1 minus 4x plus 50 this is the tr function which you have hmm. now now you can also simplify this and what will you get is basically basically minus 50 upon x plus 1 plus 50 minus 4x or you can write this as minus 50 plus 15 to x plus 1 upon x plus 1 minus 4x which will be minus 50 plus 50x plus 50 upon x plus 1 minus 4x so this would be 50 into x upon x plus 1 minus 4x this is the tr function which you have here in this case so this is the tr function which you have now the other point is that you have to find out the demand function how will you find out the demand function demand function is given by okay now you have to find out demand function demand function is uh, see what is a tr function tr is p into x okay you can write this p is equal to tr upon x so what you have to do is that in order to find out the demand function you will just have to divide this tr function by x so you will write tr as 50 upon x on x plus 1 minus 4x you will divide this by x and this will give you p you will divide this by x and what will you get is basically this x and x will go this x and x will go and what will you get is 50 upon x plus 1 minus 4 okay so p is equal to 50 upon x plus 1 minus 4 hmm? so this is the demand function for a given tr function in this case um, in the next recording we'll talk about when you're given an mr function how will you find out the maximum tr function